Hi, David here of Honda Lancaster, and here we've got a brand new Honda Jazz Crossstar in premium sunlight white. What we'll be doing in this video is just showing you some of the features you get. Won't be going over the condition this time as it's brand new, so it shouldn't have anything wrong with it at all. So here's the alloy wheel design on it. Really nice and tasteful if you ask me. And just while we're here, we've got a bumper moulding all the way around. It stops you getting rust around the wheel arches, prevents stone chips. Really good idea if you ask me. Let's get silver wing mirror caps there. Do look quite nice. And they fold in automatically, so it is keyless entry. So if I just put my hand behind the handle there, as you can see, they'll fold out straight away. And if you then want to lock it, there's three little buttons. I'll see if I can move out the way, get the light right on it. There's three little tabs. You just put your thumb on that, and it locks itself back up again. So moving on, got the headlight design there. And then just below that, Got your fog lights and your uh, parking sensors. And second one's just there and the mirrored on the other side. So just where we go past, it does have the blue Honda badge there, signifying it's a hybrid. So it is the 1.5 engine with uh, two electric motors. And there's the alloys again. So the premium sunlight white color, it does uh, change color a little bit. It goes from sort of a white to a blue to a gray because it is a pearlescent color. So I'll see if the sunlight sort of shows that at all. And carrying on, we'll just go straight round to the back now. So you've got parking sensors on the rear as well, as you'd expect. And got a reverse camera there. And keyless entry again. It will open when I'm at the back and I open the boot. As you can see, nothing's ever been in there. Absolutely spotless. Underneath, there is a couple of uh, seat covers because I took them off so you can at least see the material of the seats. But this is quite a large storage compartment there. You can keep quite a bit in there. I'll just close that up again. So as it is a Honda, Honda Jazz derivative, you do get the Honda Magic seat system, which I've already set up there to show you. The other side will lift up as well, well uh, if you want to. And then just onto a couple of other little features, you do get a little pocket here to keep your smartphones in, if you want to keep them up and out of the way. And alongside that, just down here, got a couple of USB slots as well, if you want to charge those devices. And then as far as the Magic seat system goes, if you want to put them down, just lift the bar and it falls down. There you go. We'll just hop into the front now. So you do get electric windows all round, as you'd expect now, alongside electric folding wing mirrors. And then once you jump in the vehicle, you've just got a little panel down there and you can turn off some of your safety features. So you've got your parking sensors, a button there for all your sort of Honda um, sort of systems, such as your collision mitigation your lane departure warnings and then you've got your stability control off there so we'll just start the engine up to show you the mileage is very 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 low it's only on six miles as it is brand new so those miles will have just been moving it from one of our sites to another as they're pretty much down the road from each other and this screen here also shows you exactly where the power is coming from what it's doing so right now the engine's sending power through to the battery so essentially it's draining this side to fill up this side Quite a clever little system. And then just down onto the wheel, you've got all your cruise control functions on this side, alongside your lane keep assist button and the button to adjust how far from the vehicle in front you are. And then on this side, you've got all your buttons to flip through all your menus and to go through your music. So this little wheel actually clicks inwards, so you can press it in there. If we press home, you can then flick through all sorts of little things like miles per gallon there, music, phone, you've got most of them are self-explanatory, a couple may need a bit of playing with, but I won't go through them all in this video, we'll be here all day. And just onto the centre area, where your screen is located, you've got sat-nav, and there's our location, number one, uh, Northgate, White London Industrial Estate. You've then got multiple ways of connecting your audio up, I'm not going to go through that because you can always pause the video. And then, as I showed before, you do get reverse camera and you've got three angles on that, so it's currently showing the wide angle. Then you've got a bit more of a standard view and then you've got a top down which is always really handy and you've also got this one here to show your parking sensors so it shows you exactly how far away you are from everything else so i'll just take it back out of reverse before i do some damage and make a mistake and just down here you've got all your heating controls so you've got your heated seats either extremity there alongside automatic climate control so you just turn it on with auto and adjust the temperature as you feel like and if that doesn't suit you you can be a bit more fussy and do it yourself 
So for example, if you want full white, you can do. You can just press auto and then off. So just down to the gear stick. So it is automatic, all hybrids are autos if they're full hybrids. As you can see, you've got park, reverse, neutral drive, and then regenerative braking, which applies a little bit of brakes when you're not touching the throttle. Just below that, you've got your electronic parking brake with your brake hold function and your economy button there, which should give you better miles per gallon. And then you do have a center storage area. It's quite deep there. You can keep quite a lot in that. As you can see, it goes up to about a little bit up my forearm there and I'm a six foot one male, so I'm not a small guy. And then you've got two glove boxes over here, which is my favorite feature of the Jazz. Nice and easy to keep things stored out of the way alongside your van style cup holders either side there, which I have personally learned if you put a drink in there and then have the aircon on really cold, it'll keep it nice and cool for you. And just before we finish up this video, you do get automatic lights and automatic wipers as is becoming a bit of a staple in Honda vehicles these days. So if there's something I've not covered in this video or you'd like to come and see one of these, just give us a call and we'll see how we can help. Thanks. Take care.